99% of people have a dominant hand, and there's lots of evidence that it's been this way for a long time. Cave paintings all over the world from the late Pleistocene depict wild animals, hunting events, and notably, a ton of human hands. To make these hands, an artist probably placed one hand on the rock and then sprayed pigment over it by blowing into a straw-like tube, leaving an outline of the hand. And interestingly enough, the vast majority of the hands on the walls are left hands. So experiments that recreated this method have shown that these artists were predominantly right-handed. Hand preference in our species is often so strong that you could even see it in the skeleton, especially among athletes like tennis players that use one arm a lot more than the other. The bone of their dominant upper arm becomes thicker in certain places compared to the bone of their non-dominant arm, because they're subjecting it to more force more often. In fact, although we're the only species on Earth today that's so strongly handed, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that our extinct hominin relatives, that is, the members of our lineage after the split with chimpanzees, were mostly right-handed too. 